Hey you guys, it's your girl Nishina aka Fitnish and I am back with another YouTube video. Your girl is gonna show you how she gets her booty gains and leg gains at the gym. I'm so excited to share this with you because the last time I was on here doing a workout, it was at home during lockdown. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, make sure you click on the subscribe button and you will be one of the first people to know the next time I post a new video. So I'm gonna take you through my warm up routine, just how I go about doing my hamstring and glute workouts. And let me tell you, it's never easy for me. Even when I feel like I've mastered an exercise, I just feel like the intensity um, and just the frequency of me training legs overall, it always kills me. So let's get started and enjoy this video. <laughs> I start my warm up with some dynamic stretching. I used to do static stretching before a workout, but I found that not only did static stretching take too much time to do before a workout, but it wasn't effective in getting me ready for the actual workout. Think of dynamic stretching as a warm up for your muscles, while static stretching is the cool down. I do one to two sets of about 12 reps of these dynamic movements because that's when I feel or start to feel my muscles opening up. And of course, I gotta get some banded movements in before I start doing my warm-up squats. I start my workout with back squats, which is one of the staple exercises for my lower body day. I do a few warm-up sets starting off with squatting just the bar for 10 to 12 reps. Then I start adding weight after every warm-up set. I do one set with 135, another warm-up set with 155, then one more set with 185. For my working sets, I'm squatting 225 for five sets of five reps. Notice how I only take four steps away from the squat rack before doing my squats. Taking more than four steps would use more energy that could be used for your squat, especially if you're lifting more than your body weight. This clip is from my fourth set and your good sis couldn't wait to be done with these squats. Now, onto some hip thrusts. This is another staple exercise for my lower body sessions. If the squat rack is unavailable by the time I'm ready to start my workout, I would start off with some hip thrusts instead. I have a slightly wider stance here, which would target more of the glutes. I went straight for 225 for four sets of eight reps. Send help! Okay, so I love doing cable pull-throughs. I make sure I'm pulling a very generous amount of weight when doing this exercise. I'm pulling 57.5 pounds here. This isn't a squatting exercise, it's a hip hinging exercise. Hinge your hips towards the cable machine and once you feel that nice stretch in your hamstrings, pull the weight using your hamstrings and glutes until you're about 98% at the starting position. I did this exercise for three sets of 12 reps. Here I am doing some curtsy lunges with dumbbells, but feel free to use a barbell, kettlebells, a resistance band, or just your body weight. You want to keep your torso in an upright position and keep your glutes aligned with that upright torso. I work on one leg at a time to keep tension on the same leg and I do this exercise for three sets of 10 reps. Finally, I'm finishing my workout with kneeling leg curls. What I love about this machine is that it's set up so that you can do unilateral leg curls. Not all gyms have this particular machine, so it's fine to do your leg curls lying down. I'm keeping my movements controlled, I'm not kicking the weight up, but if you find yourself kicking the weight up throughout your set, I recommend that you decrease the weight to something that's challenging but manageable for you to do for all of your sets. I'm curling 40 pounds on each leg for three sets of 10 reps. Mm -hmm. 
Hey y'all, so your sis is home. I am tired y'all. That workout took everything from me. My legs are feeling mad noodly. So I'm gonna go and shower, eat, and go about my day. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna feel this workout in the next one to two days. So I'm looking forward to that. I gotta make sure that I keep stretching and foam rolling, massaging. I have a massage gun, so I'm gonna use that and hope that, you know, it helps, you know, minimize the soreness that will come with this workout. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.